Hello everyone. Welcome to 22nd exercise of Autodesk Fusion 360 Beginners Tutorial. In this exercise, I am going to be showing you how to design this figure using Autodesk Fusion 360. Here are the dimensions of the figure and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to Files, select New Design. Change the unit to Millimeter. Create a new sketch on this top plane. Go to two point rectangle and change it to center point. Select the center as the origin and give it a dimension of 70 by 90 millimeter square. Go to center to a circle and draw a circle anywhere here of diameter 15 millimeter. Under create, go to sketch dimension, select the center and this edge and give a vertical distance between them as 15 millimeter. Repeat the same here and give a horizontal distance of 15 millimeter. Now we're gonna pattern this circle throughout this whole rectangle. Under create, go to rectangular pattern. For the objects, select the circle and for the direction, select this edge. Drag it in left direction up to 60 millimeter and change the number of items to 2. Repeat the same and drag it downward up to 40 millimeter and number of items 2. Click OK. Here is our sketch ready. So finish sketch. Go to extrude command. Select this profile. Drag it downward up to minus 7.5 millimeter. Click OK. Now under modify, go to fillet. Select these edges. and fillet them up to a radius of 15 mm. Press enter. Now create a new sketch on this front plane. Under create, go to project or you can directly press P for project. Selection filter bodies, select this body Turn on the projection link and click OK. Here the body has been projected on our current sketch. Go to front plane again. Now draw two concentric circles here of diameter 25 mm and 50 mm respectively. Press D to go to sketch dimension command. Select the center and this edge and give a vertical distance of 30 mm. Again select the center and this corner and give a horizontal distance of 5 mm. Now go to straight line command, draw a horizontal line of 5 mm on this quadrant of the circle as follows. Repeat the same three times for the remaining three quadrants. Now uncheck this show dimension option so that we can view our sketch properly. Go to trim command and trim out these unnecessary portions as follows. Now 
Now go to center to a circle again. Select the center as this point and draw a circle up to here. Click on two point circle. Select the first point here and the second point here. Go to trim command and trim out these unnecessary portions as follows. Now go to straight line command. Select the first point here and the second point on this arc making it tangent with the arc as follows. Finish catch. Now go to extrude command, select this profile, change the direction to symmetric and give an extrude distance of 5 mm. So the total extruded distance will be 10 mm. Operation join, click OK. Now turn on the visibility of previous catch by going here. Go to extrude again. Select this profile and extrude it up to 10 mm. Change the direction to symmetric, operation join, click OK. Hide the previous sketch. Create another sketch, this time on the right plane. Under create, go to project. Selection filter specify identities and select these two edges. Click OK. So these two edges have been projected on our current sketch. Now go to straight line command. Select the first point on this edge and the second point on this. Turn on the construction feature and draw a vertical line from this origin point as follows. Give any length. Now go to sketch dimension. Select these two points and specify a vertical distance of 15 mm. Repeat the same and give a horizontal distance of 15 mm. Under create, go to mirror. objects, this line and these two projected lines and mirror them about this vertical construction line. Here is our two profiles ready. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command. Select these two profiles. Extrude up to 4 mm and change the direction to symmetric. Operation join, click OK. Here is our figure almost ready. Now go to fillet. Select these two curve edges and fillet them up to a radius of 3 mm. Right click and repeat fillet. Select these edges one by one. and fillet them up to a radius of 1 mm. Again, right click and repeat fillet. This time, select these edges and fillet them up to 2 mm. Here is our figure ready. Now, press A to go to appearance. I'm going to apply this paint metallic blue color on it. Now, do little bit of adjustments as follows. Here is our figure ready. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.